I'm Mary Earps and this is my Instagram story. Me and uh, Tony Duggan, my old roommate. This is actually really funny because it says, I had a lot of fun filming roommates with this geek. I'm sure we had some sort of roommate quiz about how well you knew the other person. And I think I learned that, and she does, she does like dogs now though, but I learned that she didn't, she was afraid of dogs. It was bizarre. And then we had a mad game of rock, paper, scissors, where I think we just kept drawing over and over again. So just kept shooting the same rock or scissors or paper, but great, great little media day, that one. Oh, isn't this a cute pick? This is when I played for Bristol. Played Champions League there as well. A lot of, a massive roller coaster being at Bristol actually up and down, but that was like the first time I'd really moved away from home. Obviously at the beginning I was still at uni, still at Loughborough Uni, uh, studying for a business degree. And I was traveling backwards and forwards from Loughborough to Bristol and kind of staying overnight, like once a week, twice a week. So it was a bit of a crazy time balancing. That just really reminds me of me balancing my studies and trying to obviously become a professional footballer. Um, and I've got some really fond memories of Bristol as a city and, and the football there, especially the Champions League, so. Oh, this is a real throwback. It looks like I'm in some sort of stocks. I don't know if I was at some sort of museum. This was a family trip. This was, I was with my brother and sister that day, I'm sure we threw sponges at each other. But this just really makes me laugh because I'm in a Harry Potter shirt. I love Harry Potter. I love the films, of the books. I've been to Harry Potter Orlando, Harry Potter London. Always believed in magic. This was a great day. Played Barcelona, home and away. I'm sure we drew 1-1 away from home. Oh no, we, I think we won 1-0 actually away from home, like a really scrappy goal. And then we drew 1-1 at home, so then we went through 2-1 on aggregate. Barcelona now are an insane team, but even back then they were growing and growing and growing. I was peppered a lot, so we were very, very excited. We made the quarterfinals, really special day. One of my fun, no, yeah, one of my fondest football memories probably. Oh God, another throwback. What is that bun on my head? My mum really likes this bun actually. I've recently changed my hair last season. She prefers the bun. Me and Beth England. This was La Manga, I'm sure. I don't, I, I, I don't remember who we played or... We look happy, so we must have won. One year we did actually win the tournament, so it might have been this year. Sunny La Manga, Beth England. And me and Beth have grown up playing football together. We played football together at Doncaster Bell, so I think it's always really nice when you when you can share memories with people you've kind of grew up with or have got a, a story and a journey with. So, yeah, that's me and Beth. The final day of UD. In Joseph and my technical dream coat coat. Loved that jacket. Yeah, so I graduated from Loughborough this day. Not, not really loads to say on it. Got a business degree, was really proud of myself because that was at a time where football was coming a little bit more serious. The Super League had been running for a few years and it was becoming more and more professional and it was becoming increasingly difficult to balance um, education with, with my football career, all the travel and all the deadlines I had to push and try and get extensions for, for all my assignments. My lecturers were probably really glad to see the back of me, to be honest. But yeah, I was really proud to graduate from such a great uni with a business degree. This is a picture from my debut. It makes me laugh because my dad said to me, he was obviously watching the game, and he said that it looked like I'd been given the keys to the chocolate factory. And I've just never, ever forgot that phrase ever since. And that's all I think of when I see it. Just look how chuffed I was um, just to get on the pitch and represent my country. And it's still exactly the same now. I feel exactly the same. Every time I get to play or be here, I feel like I've been given the keys to the chocolate factory. Here we go. Me and Millie B. Another Doncaster Bells teammate from way back when. We were in Valencia here, so I'd obviously been in like quite an intense training camp, but also there was opportunities to obviously go out a little bit, explore Valencia. We were away for, in different places, um, for I think like five, six weeks. And yeah, this is us roaming the streets of Valencia with a nice Snapchat filter on, sunglasses, giving it a nice little pout. Friends for a very long time, me and Millie, so that's nice. This is actually such a spontaneous picture outside of the, my new team. So this was like literally the day that I signed my contract actually, I flew over. And Wolfsburg is such a small place, like 
we ended up walking from the hotel we were staying at, me and my agent, we did, just to get like a feel for the area around like the town, but the town is so small. You could probably get from one side of Wolfsburg to the other in like, I'm not even joking, about 15 minutes in the car, it's tiny. This was such a special day. This is, again, one of my proudest moments in football, signing for such a huge club. I, and that, I didn't know at that point, at that picture, um, that that year would change my life, basically. So, yeah, life-changing move. It's got quite a meaningful caption. It says, we will be back. But that World Cup was mad. Uh, my first World Cup, um, and I think you can see by, well, not some of the moody faces, but there's a lot of smiles and a lot of silly poses in there. It was a crazy trip. I think like the first, the first few games we just absolutely killed it, and then obviously quarterfinals, semi-finals came. They were, they were really tough games, but yeah, I think overall we had a good time. First major, first World Cup, one I'll never forget. So this one is me standing in a house that I'm viewing. Basically, I have a huge passion for property. I love anything to do with houses and investing in houses, and I'm always kind of looking at what the market's saying. I don't really know why I've got this love for it um, but I think I managed to get my first property when I was uh, playing for Reading so quite a few years ago and from there it's always been about like oh can I get another one and then I sort of set myself a little goal to try and get two properties to my name before I was 30. Love everything to do with property and um, I think it's really important that you have like a focus and also passion outside of football to kind of keep you grounded as well. So this picture is from a Christmas dinner um, that we had at Penilla's house uh, when I was playing in Wolfsburg. There was a group of maybe about 10 of us. There was a really close-knit group called the Fab Six, which was me, Penilla, Sada, Caro, Ella and Babs. Um, we got on like a house on fire and literally spent all our time together pretty much. Um, you, you wouldn't think that we saw each other once or twice a day on the training pitch. We just, um, we also hung out a lot outside. And obviously Penilla now plays in the league and everyone can see what an incredible player she is. So yeah, I've got some pretty, pretty cool friends and um, it's really nice that she's now in England now and I can b go for a coffee with her. Like you know, we, we met up in Kingston not so long ago. It's great to see her do so well at Chelsea. She's a world-class player. Deserves all the credit she's getting.